Hey guys, so today I'm gonna tell you guys how to turn your Instagram profile into a resume to help you land any job or start any business that you want to. start off so I'm a huge fan of resumes I actually one of my side hustles in college was to help my friends uh, land the best internships by building them the best resumes but the only reason they trusted me was because they saw that oh cool mama's got all these internship offers working for all these cool companies getting to do all these cool things so it was because I led by example that they trusted me to um, create their resumes for them. But let's be real guys, resumes these days are going to be as obsolete as a newspaper. So when it comes down to it, you have to reinvent and actually showcase what you're doing on your resume in real life with a living, breathing profile. I'm a huge fan of LinkedIn as well. So being able to showcase what you do on your resume on LinkedIn with all the cool new features because you can upload files, you can get recommendations, you can write articles. So so many cool ways to uh, really get yourself out on LinkedIn. But I say take it a step further. Instagram, there's so many more people on that platform and I've worked in HR before so I know that when people are recruiting, they're looking through your social profiles and a Google search, they're spending more time on that than they are actually glancing at your resume. I'm gonna put this pen down, that's a little intimidating. Real opportunity with platforms like Instagram and YouTube um, lie in understanding you get to actually showcase how you are living out your resume in real life because it's really gonna showcase exactly how much you know and how you can actually execute on those and that's what recruiters are looking for and that's what your potential clients are all looking for that you're not just about talking the talk but you can walk the walk uh, this is how I've been able to build my business and how I've really been able to connect with so many people worldwide and have all these opportunities come to me so I want to help you get started with this if you're in the fitness industry it's even more important to start building your brand on Instagram because three things. Number one, they want to know that you actually understand sales and marketing because half the job in the fitness industry is being able to execute and actually train people, start your gyms, nutrition supplements, and athleisure. But half the other part of the company is actually being able to grow the business through sales and marketing through social media marketing, event marketing, whatever platform you choose. Number two, you wanna showcase that you there is a demand to fill up your classes if you're looking to work in a gym or a studio. Uh, I know that specifically, uh, studios like Barry's Bootcamp are looking for influencers, people that have that reach and engagement that not only are going to fill up their classes, but are actually going to get their brand out there. So they're living, breathing models for the Barry's Bootcamp brand. So a lot of these gyms, are stu gyms and studios are looking for people with that impact and that reach. Number three, they wanna know that you're an actual professional so that you actually know the form, you know how to execute, you know how to interact with people. So if you are in the fitness industry, even more important for you to start building your brand on Instagram. Now, how do we actually do this? So when it comes to building your brand, first, you always have to identify who is your potential client? Who is your ideal client? Who is it that you wanna to attract to your profile? Is it recruiters? Is it people that you wanna fill your classes with? Or are you just looking for like-minded entrepreneurs and business partners? No matter what it is, you wanna make sure you have them in mind when you're coming up with your content cadence. So your content cadence, this is something I preach everyone to have. It is your five to six basic information that your audience can always expect from you. Especially with that ideal client in mind, you can start delivering content that's going to speak to them and actually get them to engage with you and actually convert to a client or a recruiter or uh, as a business partner. What I recommend doing is starting with a list of about five to six things your audience can expect from you. For me, I have about six to seven items that you can always expect I'm going to deliver on because I want my resume to actually be reflected in my Instagram. And there are seven things that you can kind of point out uh, just looking through my profile. Number one, you will tell that I'm a very passionate, 
kind-hearted uh, person and fitness is the passion behind all of it and I showcase that in every video every Instagram story and that's something raw and authentic that people want to actually uh, connect with me on number two I want people to realize that I'm a community leader not only can I actually meet up and collaborate with people but I know how to drive an audience to actually do something take action and be a part of something that makes an impact number three I want people to know that I am a master at engagement marketing. That means when it comes to true KPIs or key performance indicators in my comment sections or getting people to an event or engaging with my content, um, I know how to create those conversations because of the algorithm I've created. I'm having real authentic conversations that I know are going to lead to something. So this isn't exactly strategic, it's very intentional conversations that I know how to have uh, with the right people. Number four, I want people to know that I am a creative, not only with my video editing skills, my graphics for my Instagram stories, but how I communicate with people through technology and uh, my creativity at my events. Number five, I also want them to know that I'm a tech evangelist. I use tech uh, uh, apps, software, all to kind of be a sassy woman and hack into uh, my busy lifestyle and make things a lot easier. But I do that by showcasing those apps and features through my Instagram and through my YouTube video, through tutorials, or by actually using it. So that's why you see my phone screen so much in all my content. Number six, I want people to know that I'm very relatable. That's why I talk with my hands. I sit down on the ground and have my conversations. Um, I actually um, am with people all the time and that I've actually like gone through this journey with them. So I'm very relatable. That's why so many people want to collaborate with me. And I want people to know, you know, I'm a kind person. I want people to feel comfortable with me. That's why I showcase people in my profile so much because I want people to know I'm always open to those uh, opportunities and that I'm a professional when it comes down to it. So any brand partnerships I uh, have collaborated on or with uh, they're high level but I know how to execute on them and deliver those KPIs and then number seven that I have a very strong worth ethic and I think you guys see this through my uh, transformation photos that's why that is definitely in my weekly cadence because transformation photos showcase that hey I didn't take any shortcuts um, I went through the same journey that you're probably going through I understand the struggles I relate with you but but all these key steps are what helped me get to where I am, but I still have to work ev hard every single day in order to um, really showcase these results. I want you guys to know those are things you can always expect from me. And when you create that content cadence, that's when you are really delivering to people uh, your resume, showing them that you are exactly what you're stating on there as your skills. Um, and having your living breathing recommendations in your comment section so what I highly recommend doing is take a look at your Instagram profile your LinkedIn profile how can you take what you're doing on there and showcase it every single day on your Instagram to attract the right clients uh, the right business partners or the right recruiters and opportunities to you don't worry about the engagement at first this is more about you just getting your information out there and then um, start getting into engagement marketing and event marketing that's really going to help you escalate and take it to the next level. Hope this helped you guys and I cannot wait to see your profiles and see you living out your dreams um, with the perfect opportunities using Instagram. So if you have a question about that, I'd love to also review your profiles. So leave me a comment down below with your Instagram handle uh, so I can kind of take a look and tell you uh, what I can see from your profile and what I think your ideal job or uh, ideal client would be. I'd be happy to help you with that. I also have a free questionnaire uh, that I'd love to send you if you are interested in kind of figuring how, out how to create your content cadence. All right, guys, if you guys like this, please share it with your team. Share it with someone that just needs to know that, hey, your resume is not the end of the world. Let's get you doing this in real life. So give this a thumb up, thumbs up, guys. Subscribe. I've got tons of vlogs coming up. I'm trying this real hard. Uh, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.